Yeah. The heat, the sea, the fire, the bomb, the bomb, the songs, the arms For God, this is a generation for God We are a generation for God You can see it in my eyes Welcome to another episode of Warrior Wednesday on um, uh, HFOG TV uh, My name is Juke from JUKWorld.com As well as the creator of the Hip Hop Gospels at HipHopHolyBible.com And um uh, holyfireofgod.com hfog tv uh, please subscribe uh, go to holyfireofgod.com and subscribe there and we'll give you we'll send you some uh, free music on this episode of warrior wednesday i just want to go over some um, comments that people have left on my thrift shop video and uh, yeah so one guy said um, this is one Mike G123. He said, So I understand your message you're saying is that it's fundamentally okay to knowingly commit sin because you're forgiven. I'm an atheist, but even I know that that's not a proper interpretation of the supposed word of God. So this person's saying basically, Oh, you're saying grace, so we can do whatever we want, which is obviously not what I'm saying. Um, I answered back, one Mike one two three. The reason you're an atheist is probably because you do not understand what it means to be a son of God. It is the most amazing, wonderful, awesome thing in the world. And why would anyone who has been forgiven and become a child of God continue sinning as if he was not forgiven and was still condemned? We who have truly received Christ do not go on living in sin, but if we do sin, Jesus Christ perfects Jesus Christ's perfect blood washes over us and we are forgiven again. And God sees us as righteous again. Then Brian, uh, or this person, Brian Geiger, answered back, uh, This circular thinking doesn't get anyone anywhere. I really like your video and it's awesome. You believe in something. But I could say the reason you're a Christian is probably because you do not understand science. I'm an atheist because that's what I believe. And that doesn't mean I want to convert you or preach about how I think I'm right. We both have different views, but regardless, you did a pretty good job writing that. I wrote back, no, because here's the difference. I am not trying to convince you by reasoning that God is real. I couldn't do it if I tried. I only pray that you don't doubt. It's so easy to doubt. A, God is real. B, no, it's possible that God is not real. That's doubt. But if you will believe in the living God who knows you and loves you so much, then you will experience him. And it is amazing. Not just because you're forgiven, but in you walking with your creator and letting him completely rock your life. He answered back, my life is amazing without any of that, but I agree with the Bible, most of it, including the morals that they ask us to abide by and how to treat one another. I'm amazed at your nice demeanor, and by all means, keep doing what you're doing. I'm not trying to bash your life or beliefs. Um, it, it's important how we handle uh, our life and trials that happen in our life. You know, you might be the only Bible anyone ever reads your life. So, you know, let it exemplify one of love and truth um, I have another guy that uh, wrote me so this other person Scott wrote Christian rap does not work why do people insist on trying it's pathetic and sad just like religion itself so I answered back What's sad is that people are so caught up in boxes and tags that they think Christian rap is something different other than an individual just like you telling their story. You just don't like their story. And the talent level for Christian rap is so dope. Don't believe me? Go to holyfireofgod.com and click on radio. Um, dope. And don't get overly, excuse me. <coughs> and then I wrote, um, dope, and don't get over, overly religious that I use the word dope. No, it doesn't mean that I am endorsing drug use. I don't need them anyways. No high like the most high. Well, this guy, Scott, wrote me back in a, in a, um, a message. 
He said the talent level for Christian rap is somewhere between Paris Hilton and Lil B. In other words, non-existent. Why do people insist on praising somebody that doesn't exist? And you don't even think about offering theories. Oh, and, and don't even think about offering theories or so-called evidence as to why he does. Because I will literally smash every single iota of proof. Quit rapping. Because this beep sucks so much. Alright, so now at that point, I could have, you know tried to com combat him by offering some sort of scientific proof or hit on his character. Um, here's what I wrote. First of all, there's no way I will quit rapping ever. So just get used to hating my stuff. I mean, for every 20 people encouraged by my raps, of course there's going to be a brother who absolutely wants me to throw myself in the ocean. And I am completely fine with that. Am I going to try and convince you or give you the opportunity to smash every single proof I have? Nope. I probably couldn't convince you if I tried. And I've learned to not even waste my time. But that still has nothing to do with the fact that God still loves you. He wants a relationship with you. That's all I'm here to say. You can say whatever you want about me because I don't live for me. If I lived my life for me, then I would have to try and protect this fake false image that has been created called me. It doesn't actually exist, but we spend our lives trying to protect it. Look, I died when I gave my life to Christ. Now I no longer exist, but God lives in me and through me. This means I have given up my will for his will. My desires for his desires, my plan for his plan, and it's amazing. Maybe you think that makes me weak or soft. Maybe you're right. I disagree. I lived my life apart from God, been there, done that. It always leaves you wanting more because we were created to be in communion with God. So anything else we fill our lives with will never fulfill us. It's like a car made to run on fuel, and you are putting water in the tank. The car is not going to run very well. And God created you with a purpose. I don't care if you curse at me or tell me to hang myself. Trust me, posting videos on YouTube, I hear, I've heard it all. But I just wanted you to know that you're an amazing person, uniquely made for such a time as this. Don't try and protect this image you've built up over the years. Give your life to Jesus. That's all. Not even sure if you're still reading. Maybe you've come up with a creative way to tell me to go screw myself. Or maybe you're thinking of all the scientific facts that you can throw at me to tell me why I'm wrong. It's all good either way. At the end, it comes down to belief. And that belief will change your life. Whichever you choose, forever. God bless. Again, that's just an opportunity where, you know, someone throws something at me and it's just this, this revelation of not living for yourself. Look, if I, if I was living for myself, I would have to cut him down. He's cutting me down. I would have to cut him down back, you know, to try and protect myself, this image. But I don't live for myself. I could care less what you say about me. I live for God. And you really don't have to try and protect God. You know, you don't have to try and protect the lion. Just let it out of the cage and let it do its thing. So um, that just encour that's just encouragement that, you know, don't live for you. When people try to attack you, you know, just, just understand that this is a prodigal son, a prodigal daughter that has run away from God. And that the most important thing is that they come back to know him. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of uh, Warrior Wednesday on HFOG TV. Um, my name again is Juke from JUKWorld.com as well as the creator of the Hip Hop Gospels at HipHopHolyBible.com. That's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John Wrapped. And HolyFireOfGod.com, HFOG um, TV. Uh, please subscribe. Go to uh, HolyFireOfGod.com and put your email address in there. We'll send you some uh, free music for subscribing and uh, you're really going to enjoy it. Love y'all. God bless. Yeah. The heat, the sea, the fire, the vibe, the bomb, the songs, the alms. For God, this is a generation. For God.
We are a generation for God You can see it in my eyes The trials, the passion is real When I'm fasting, I'm smashing you cats With the seal, this is a generation for God We are a generation for God yeah. Yo, I was the chief sinner Slave, I even come Plain by Jesus' grace